Hello everyone, hope we're all good. Big shout out to KR Couriers and Transport Limited and a big thank you to everyone who likes, shares, comments and subscribes to the All or Nothing podcast with myself, Billy Moore. I was thinking about the worst prison in the UK that I've ever resided in and it was an establishment called HMP Stafford. Now this was a Cat C prison. You know, you were deemed a low risk inmate when you got transferred from like the big house. They'd send you there. I went in reception, I had no idea what stuff it was like. I know I was a bit of an unruly, I was always down a block in, in, in Walton. I was always getting nicked for drug tests. You know, I'd always fail an MDT, which is a mandatory drug test, which is a piss test. You know, and um, I'd lose days. Like, it was going out of fashion. I must have lost months on small sentences anyway get to the reception we're going to Stafford okay Stafford never been there what's it like it was a hellhole it was shit you get there you go on F-wing you're on the first floor the screws are horrible it's 23 hour bang up you can't wear your own clothes and the food and everything else about it was just fucking rotten you had to go on, it was like snakes and ladders, you had to go up levels to get off F-Wing, to get onto a normal location where you could get association every night, a little job, get into some kind of routine. I never got off F-Wing for I don't know how long, it must have been about eight months. I was up and down there landings, you know, you'd, send, you'd get on the second landing, you'd be behaving for a couple of weeks and then something would happen, like you'd have fun. You'd, you'd, you'd say something but you back to the screws and fuck off your back down. I was always fighting, I was always kicking off. In the end, I managed to get to the fourth floor, right? You get to the fourth floor, you do a month up there and then they move you on. I ended up on the fourth floor for eight weeks and it was the best time of my life because I could bang me little knife and fork, tied together, out the window, big line on it. Pulling in parcels, it was fucking great, you know. And there's these two screws on there that dominated the wing called Mr. L and Mr. Mason. You know, Mr. L was about seven foot, ex-rugby player. And Mr. Mason was like a small, stocky fellow with a bit of a beard. I mean, they used to, everyone used to rip them when they were going off, you know, off work. They'd cross the, the yard and everyone had to win. They'd go, you fucking dickheads, shitbags, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'd be throwing a text and accents on just in there so it didn't come on top. Yeah, Mr. Mason, you bloody wool, you fucking dickhead, you dinger. Smash your head in. <laughs> I was banged up with this kid as well called Teddy Jenkins from Dublin, Rings End, Dublin 8. And I was, you know, being creative one day and said, so I'm going to write a book about my life, you know, Teddy. And he popped his head from the top bunker, looked at him and went, what are you going to write about? You fucking dickhead. You haven't done nothing but fucking smoke drugs all your life. I was 25. Who's going to fucking read a book about you? <laughs> Put me right off. That was it. Never fucking thought about it again. Then, Teddy. 15 years later, I've got two published. Anyway, moving on. Mr. Mason comes to the shell one day with Mr. L. Mr. Mason's had a bevy. You can smell it on his breath. Must have been about half seven at night. I don't know, I like that. Thought he was dead tasty. Do you know what they call me? Hey, do you know what my nickname is? <laughs> no, no, what is it? Said he went, yeah, you're a knobhead. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not. They call me the Pitbull. I thought he'd definitely been on the island. He must have been. And we thought, like, we just got off. We were in fucking stitches, laughing our heads off. And then you've got Mr. Hill. We thought he was a bit tasty. We thought he could have a go. This kid's kicking off, he's running down the fucking lands and Mr. Hill throwing windmills, you know, before he's even reached the fucking fella. Like about a hundred yards up, he's done a hundred yard sprint doing a windmill. Ended up just fucking making a show of himself. So he went down and my estimation's there. Then you had this other screw that we called Fred West. He was a fucking proper sly ass him. You know, you got on the buzz and he said, You on that buzzer, boy! You better be dying! He was bringing the buzzer just for the fucking toilet roll. You get a, a warning. 
remember I had one piece, one piece, one square piece of toilet roll left. And I'm on the buzzer, I thought he can't see fuck all here, no, can he? Um, yeah, boss. What is it? I need a toilet roll. What? You've got two sides for that toilet roll, boy. Use both of them. The fucking hell is he fucking meshing? Nation Fred West. Fucking bell end bang. Again. That's why he never went anywhere, me. There was always Billy Basic, they call me. You went on basic standard in the land, that was always on basic. Billy Basic. Anyway, Stafford Prison. Shit's all. Leave it at that. Thanks for watching.